seemingly fractious time in world history, countries can get along, even if they have to leave the planet to do it. Here's CTV's John Venavale Rao on the Canadian astronaut working for the American Space Agency who rode a Russian rocket into space. As this Russian rocket roared into the night sky over Kazakhstan, half a world away in Kingston, a roar of applause at Queen's University as students watched a famous graduate head into orbit to take command of the International Space Station come June. Hi, everybody. This is a shout out to all you Queen's students. Uh, While well, Andrew Foistel works for NASA. In this video about him, he reminds viewers he's truly an international astronaut. The first thing you might not know about Drew Foistel is uh, I actually hold dual U.S. and Canadian citizenship. Foistel grew up in Detroit, but while at university in Indiana, he met his wife, a speech pathologist from Ontario. The couple moved to Kingston, where Foistel finished a Ph.D. at Queen's and became a Canadian citizen. Have a great time. Stay in touch. Don't forget to write. In a video, former Canadian astronauts Chris Hadfield. You have made it to space again. And Judy Payette wished Foistel good luck along with tragically hip guitarist Rob Baker. We are so proud of you, Queens, Kingston. Boisel has twice gone into space before on the shuttle, a time sporting a Queens t-shirt. His latest mission will be five and a half months. His wife and two sons, both born in Kingston, were at the launch site to see him off. I will miss my wife the most uh, over the next few months uh, on the space mm -hmm. station, and uh, of course my kids as well. Another Canadian astronaut, David St. Jacques, is scheduled to head for space in November. What are you doing? Ready? As for Foistel, while there, he'll take part in a Q&A with Queen students, hoping to remind them no goals too great to be achieved. John Venavalli Rouse, CTV News, Toronto.